everyone welcome to this updated video this morning i hope you're doing fantastic and we'll be looking at what's going on across the atlantic so there's that frontal system which is uh continuing to move offshore of the united states you can see some thunderstorms along the uh boundary of it and also there is an airflow pressure loitering out there as we look towards the main development region near the african coast you can see that there is a lot of convection out there and this is something that we'll gradually see heading into late spring and eventually summer because it is getting warmer. There is more atmospheric instability, which will allow for the intertropical convergence zone to be more active. And that's what we're seeing right now. That's the source of rain for northern South America. Notice it's very active within the vicinity of Colombia. So we're going to be talking about that. And for the Caribbean, there is the dust which has moved in. You may notice that it's very hazy outside and that dust is uh, going to continue moving toward the west and will eventually reach Central America. So let's get into it. Now, before we move into details, it is time for the question of the day. So your question is, where are the strongest winds in a hurricane found? A, the eye, B, around the eye, or C, within the periphery, which is the outermost part of the hurricane. Save your answer, and you're going to know if you're correct later in the video. Zooming into the Caribbean here, we can see that there are still some cloud clusters around here and there, parts of Jamaica. And by the way, some areas got some well-needed rainfall yesterday, which is fantastic. Even some heavy rain in some areas. And we can see somewhat of a similar story today. Maybe not the same areas, but parts of the island could receive some additional heavy downpours. And headed towards Central America, especially for the Pacific coast, uh, going to El Salvador, offshore Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, we can see that it's a bit more active there. And as you look towards uh, northern South America, northern Colombia and Venezuela, as we're seeing, it is also quite active. There's also some rain in uh, parts of Puerto Rico this morning, potentially the Virgin Islands as well, in sections of the Lesser Antilles. So uh, thankfully, it's not very dry. I mean, especially compared to a couple of months ago when it was just so dry no rain for a very long time so that rainfall activity slowly kicking up and we're going to be looking at the may forecast from one of our climate models which is the climate forecast system we'll be looking at it later in the video but let's move to the rainfall forecast for today here we can see it so the vicinity of the northeast caribbean is within those shades of oranges or reds so rainfall activity could be anywhere from maybe around let's say half an inch up to an inch uh, as we head through today so parts of the uh, lesser Antilles especially the leeward islands which includes Anguilla, St. Martin, St. Barthelemy, Seba, St. Eustatius, St. Kitts and Nevis, Antica, Barbuda, even Montserrat as well there could be some additional rainfall and uh, headed towards the Virgin Islands in Puerto Rico there could be uh, more rainfall within that area compared to the leeward islands hispaniola is also likely to remain active in some areas with some additional downpours possible as i mentioned earlier for jamaica as well and i would even say for parts of eastern cuba and some spots in the bahamas and turks and caicos islands but the western and central parts of cuba along with the cayman islands and parts of the yucatan are likely to remain on the dry side as we head through today Heading to uh, the rest of Central America, parts of Mexico, Guatemala, Southern Belize, El Salvador, Honduras, Nicaragua, even some spots in Costa Rica, Panama. There could be some periods of heavy rain and thunderstorms through today. Same thing, uh, the vicinity of Colombia, up to three and a half, four inches of rain at maximum in some areas as we head through today and even for western uh, Venezuela. Heading to the Guyanas now, in parts of eastern Guyana, Suriname, and French Guiana, there could be some heavy rainfall and even thunderstorm activities uh, as we head through today. But for areas such as the ABC Islands, a few showers may be nearby, but nothing major is expected. It is also going to be a little bit windy for parts of the Caribbean, especially over in the east. So uh, parts of the northern and western Caribbean are not expected to experience uh, very windy conditions today but for the eastern islands lesser antilles abc islands it could be a breezy day but uh, nothing crazy expected as you look at the saharan earlier forecast now 
or still see those very dark brown shading. So that dust is making its way in Blanket Tint Lesser Antilles, headed towards the ABC Islands and parts of Northern South America as well. Now, as we're going to be heading through the week, much of the denser dust is likely to remain south of areas such as the Dominican Republic and Haiti and even Jamaica. But then as we head to the midweek, going to Thursday, some of this dust will be reaching Central America, Nicaragua, Panama, those areas. But of course, I'll be keeping you guys posted on it. And as I mentioned, we're going to be looking at the May forecast in terms of rainfall activity. So this is from the climate forecast system. And when we're seeing those shades of greens going to those blues, that is indicating above average rain. Meanwhile, those yellow uh, orange shadings represent below average rainfall. So this is for the week of April 29th to the 6th of May. So within that week, we're seeing that there may be above average rain for parts of the Eastern Islands, sections of the Lesser Antilles, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, maybe even some spots in the Dominican Republic, also the ABC Islands and uh, parts of Central America, Panama, Costa Rica, especially, and even headed towards uh, Colombia and Venezuela as well, but surrounding areas likely to be on the drier side, headed towards May 6th to the 13th. Here we're seeing that above average rain still likely for the Eastern Caribbean islands, maybe including the Southern Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos islands as well for the week of the 20th to the 27th. Then we're heading to late May. We can see that this, uh, above average probability of rainfall is now for areas such as uh, much of Hispaniola, even Jamaica as well, more islands in the southern Bahamas. And then May 27th to the 3rd of June, we're seeing that the Western Caribbean is now expected to experience above average rainfall activity. So here we can see it for the start of May going into mid-May. This model is not expecting that the majority of the Caribbean will be experiencing above average rain is going to be drier in many areas but as the month goes on we can see that rainfall chance really uh, increasing and eventually we're going to be heading to june which is the start of the hurricane season so guys that is what is expected but of course i'll be keeping you posted on a day-to-day -day basis once necessary and now we're heading back to the question that i asked at the start of the video so let's see if you got it right where are the strongest winds in a hurricane found? A, the eye, B, around the eye, or C, within the periphery? The answer is B, around the eye. So the eye of a hurricane is the calmest part. That's the center of it. Around the eye is what is known as the eye wall, and that is where the strongest winds are are found closest to, uh, to that low pressure center and then within the periphery that is the outermost part of it where we would find those bands of rains at times but the strongest winds are towards uh the eye wall and not the outermost part of a hurricane so let me know in the comments if you got it right but that is pretty much it for this update video and i really do hope you found it to be very informative but if you have any questions do feel free to leave them in the comments i'll respond when i can and remember to always be weatherwise